and welcome to livingpianos.com. I'm Robert Estrin. Chickering is one of the oldest piano companies in the United States, and this is a delightful instrument I'm in front of. In fact, this was built in 1978, yet Chickering, back in the 1800s, was the largest piano company. Abraham Lincoln had a Chickering in the White House. These are revered pianos. There is even a museum in the Inland Empire that's a chickering, specializing mostly in chickering because it has such a storied history. That's why it's such a pleasure to have one that isn't so old, that's in good condition. I want you to hear this piano. I'll tell you a little bit more about it, but I want to get right to the music because if you haven't heard chickerings before, or particularly if you have, then you're already anxious to hear this piano. The warmth of the tone is something that is quite unique. Listen to the sound of this five foot eight inch chickering parlor grand piano and see how you like it. This is Scarlatti Sonata in E major. It's a sound you don't hear out of pianos too much anymore, except from Mason and Hamlin and Steinway, the last two companies left from the over 1,000 that were around 100 years ago. And those pianos cost an arm and a leg. It's great to find an American-made piano, a top-tier instrument, handmade in the used market in such good condition. Now, we did put brand new MAPES International Series bass strings for a rich, vibrant tone of the bass. The cabinet is original finish. It's been detailed. It doesn't look brand new, but it looks quite presentable. Action's been refined with regulation, gentle hammer reshaping, and all the rest of it. Let's see here, hear how it sounds with some Beethoven, a little bit of the Opus 10, number one, C minor sonata.
It's a pleasure playing a great American piano in good condition because you get such a rewarding tone. Notice that even when you put great energy into it, it never gets that harsh brittleness you can get from Asian production pianos. That's one of the reasons why people will spend the big bucks to get handmade American and European pianos. I'm going to end now just with a short movement from Schumann's Carnival entitled Chopin to hear the beautiful lyricism. You know, it's interesting how each piano brand has its unique signature sound. And it's no wonder that Chickering was such a popular piano. I hope you've enjoyed this. Once again, Robert at livingpianos.com. You can email me or call us anytime. Living Pianos, your online piano store, free delivery anywhere in the US. Great to see you. Next time, I'll be here for you as well. Thanks a lot. <laughs>